Hey, it's Tom and Mike from Take Time to Travel. Today we're going to take you on our Vancouver apartment tour in the upscale Yale Town neighborhood to show you what it's like. It's located right across the street from the seawall in this building here. Let's head on in and show you around. Inside the lobby is open and airy with lots of greenery and huge glass walls. But let's head upstairs to our apartment. Come on in. I'm going to show you around our apartment in the Yale Town neighborhood of Vancouver. Mike, if you just want to close that door and you step into a good size entryway in the apartment and we do have a table here where we throw our keys and sunglasses and directly across from that is the front hall closet for our shoes and jackets. The floors are all a dark colored laminate flooring in most of the living area and as soon as you walk in this section, we do have the dining table, a good sized round one with four chairs. We do have our meals there quite often. And then next to that, we have a three-seater sofa and a coffee table and an easy chair across from that. And then right next to that, we do have a gas fireplace. Haven't needed to use it that much for warmth, but we did put it on a couple nights just for some ambiance and then a TV up above. I have some of my artwork and glass that we've collected on our travels. And then check out this view. Spectacular view, floor to ceiling windows. And down below is the roundhouse. And that's where they used to do work on the trains that used to come in here. And then the green area across from that is the David Lamb Park. And then you can see False Creek is the water all around us and there's lots of yacht clubs and that big dock out in front of us is where we can walk out and catch the aqua bus or the ferry to go across the waterway or over to Granville Island. And then back around this way Mike, if you know us you know we love to have a balcony wherever we stay and this one we did get a balcony, it's not very big but we've used it a lot because we've had amazing weather while we've been here. So I'll let you go out there, Mike. And it does have two seats and a small bistro table. And then beautiful view, city view, and the mountains up in the background. And that's up Davy Street. And then back around again to False Creek View. So come on back in here. Mike, I'll let you close that door behind you. And we have a couple of stools here at a breakfast bar. And the countertops are all black granite, I think. Got a little bit of sparkles in them. And then in the kitchen, right down below, the first thing you see is the dishwasher. We love to have a dishwasher if we can. Don't really like doing those dishes by hand double sink, and there's a coffee grinder, a drip coffee maker, and a four slice toaster up above it. We have the microwave, and the cupboards are full of all the pots and pans, dishes and cutlery. And then we've got the fridge and freezer here. Right next to it is gas stove, and it's got four burners, and then right in the center is the griddle, and it's got a huge burner in underneath it, so it's really been great having that, and the oven down below. So coming through into the office area, there is a pocket door that slides across if we wanted to separate this room off. It's got a really good sized desk, and Mike's got his computer set up where he does all the editing for our videos. Hard to get work done though when you've got a spectacular view like this again. So it's got two walls of windows that go again floor to ceiling in this room. And then back over this way, there is a door that we can close off this side of the office too and it continues out into the hallway and then into the bedroom. And the bed has a bench at the foot of the bed and you can sit there and put your socks on in the morning, I guess. And a queen size bed. It's got nightstands at either side and some table lamps. And then I'll let you go through, Mike. Again, that fabulous view of the mountains and the city and back around to the water. We've had beautiful weather, like I say, so 
we've been able to wake up to that view every morning. And we do have huge closet across with the mirrors on it, so lots of room to hang up all our clothes. And then back down in the hallway, I'll let you go in there, Mike. So is the bathroom. Gain lots of mirrors in this place and lighting. And then the sink is in a stone countertop and the toilet next to it. And then there is a bathtub and good sized shower head up above. And we've got lots of really hot water and lots of pressure too. So then back down the hallway, a little bit of artwork on the walls. And in this closet door is our washer and dryer stacked up in here. So it's always important for us to make sure that every place we stay has one of those when you're staying for six months. And then inside this closet door, I'll let you go in there, Mike, is the storage room. And we've been able to stash all our luggage in here. And we keep the recycling bins hidden away in here. And also the vacuum cleaner and the broom and things like that you can hide away. So this is where we've been able to stay for six and a half months and we love it. We especially loved the sunset views, which were absolutely incredible. And we were treated to them frequently. The nighttime city view was exceptional as well. It was also pretty cool to see the Pride Parade going by from our balcony. Our building also had amazing amenities, including a beautiful lagoon on the third floor, which had a giant pond surrounded by lots of lovely gardens and greenery, as well as some seating areas to relax and enjoy. There was even an entertainment area and a barbecue station. Just below, there's also a large indoor pool, as well as a hot tub, sauna, and steam room. In addition, there was a fully equipped gym, a nice media room, and a very helpful concierge desk. But our favorite part of our stay in this apartment was probably its fantastic location, being right across from the seawall. We took long walks along the seawall at least once or twice a day and having the Quayside Marina out front was pretty cool too, where we got to see some incredible boats, like this massive 150-foot yacht called After Eight. Also, just a short walk away in Yale Town was this trendy area lined with tons of attractive restaurants and patios. Well, we hope you enjoyed our Vancouver Yale Town apartment tour. If you did, please like and subscribe, and check out our Vancouver Michelin Restaurants video, as well as our Vancouver West End food tour. And remember, take time to travel. Catch you on the next one!